Playing versus Warwick, pick someone like Lee Sin and invade him in the early game, but be careful about his healing. Jax can pretty much dodge his auto attacks and prevent his healing that way, and Skarner can ult him after he ults someone on your team and deny him that way. Rengar if he goes full lethality, Nocturne if he can time his shroud accurately, and Vi who'll always have the ability to stop his ult after he strikes are other viable counters too. Warwick's passive makes his auto attacks heal him, especially when he's below 50 and 25% full health. His Q makes him bite a target when pointing and clicking at him, and when held will make him jump behind even if the enemy decides to dash away. His W passively grants him movement and attack speed against all enemies below 50%. This is also tripled if the enemies are below 25%. When activated, it will grant him this passive after choosing the nearest enemy regardless of their health percentage. His E makes him channel for 2.5 seconds where he'll take reduced damage and can be reactivated after 1 second to make all enemies flee. His ultimate makes him leap in a target direction stopping at the first enemy enemy hit, whereas his range will become bigger the more movement speed he has. He cannot be stopped mid-air, but he can be interrupted after he strikes an enemy. Being a jungler, most Warwicks take the smite flash combo, but you might also sometimes see a ghost smite combo to give him the extra movement speed for chases and leap range. If you're playing jungle, then you probably take the smite flash combo. As for power spikes, he has a pretty weak early game but strives mostly in the mid game and is okay in the late game due to his constant utility his ultimate provides. His level 2 when he can make enemies fear him and his level 6 are game changers when it comes to Warwick and increases ganking potential immensely. Right now, people are building him much more like a tank and that will not change so soon. So Spirit Visage greatly increases his healing and the Cinder Hulk enchantment makes him deal a lot of damage due to his stickiness. Merlin Omicron for mages and an early Executioner's Blade greatly reduces healing, rendering him a harmless puppy in no time. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, don't fight him for long periods of time, he excels at long fights, try to save some sort of disable for when he ults an ally of yours and buy some sort of healing denying item. Ultimately, have fun doing it.